I was like, there's a hairdresser that does mullets and he sells retro toys. I have to go and check it out. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to a brand new Ed's Retro Geek Out. In this episode, we visit a couple of hair salons in Copenhagen. Cause they got toys. Oh yeah. So my band, Rotsag, they made the trip up to Denmark. And you know, I just have to sneak in a little bit of toy hunting right before showtime. So special thanks goes out to Stian for pointing out these stores. My interest went into Ruben Oak Bobby. I hope I'm saying that right. They had two locations and here is the first one. <laughs> So I guess I kind of have to point out how absurd this combination is. But yeah, this is a hairdresser who specializes in creating 80s and 90s mullets. And they have a ton of toys and retro video games in their store. So this was actually super cool. Plus, the toy inventory they had was pretty amazing. I mean, I've never seen this much Mighty Max stuff and just random 90s lines thrown together. I'm really impressed. Okay guys, we got some uh, music in the background, but I'm going to risk it anyway. Because <laughs> this place is freaking cool. I'll show you the front in just a second. Um, this is basically like a hairdresser that just does um, mullets. <laughs> and they have a load of toys <laughs> in there as well. So you can get your hair cut here, but you can also enjoy all the toys that they have around. It's crazy. Honestly, don't know where to look first. We got some good stuff on there. All the prices here are in Krona, so yeah, we're in Denmark. We got some Skeleton Warriors, we got some Power Rangers, Biker Mice. All the 80s and 90s stuff is definitely well represented over here. Masters of the Universe. Oh man, I'm actually missing this one. Uh oh, hopefully. 300? Yeah, I think this is definitely maybe pile material. Oh, check this out. There's a ton of more toys here. That's a boulder hill. Wow. Okay. Over here we have some later releases of the biker mice. Pretty cool. It just keeps going. <laughs> there's, there's freaking toys everywhere. Now obviously also a nice variety of video game stuff. Oh yeah, what's underneath here? More Dino Riders. There's a, a massive amount of Dino Riders here. Check it out. All of these, we got the big T-Rex. It's got 1,500 krone on it, but actually not that bad of a price. And over here we got Mikey. That's a tougher one to get. It's pretty nice to see, see so much turtles here. Got some knockoffs, some fun knockoffs here. This is a cool one. Guess Golden Girls, Gloop. Over in here, there's just <laughs> so many, so many Mighty Maxes. It's crazy. It's crazy cool. Let's see. 
One thing that definitely caught my eye right away was the Mega Head from Mighty Max, the Skull Master. And you know, I obviously had to pick it up. This is Mighty Max Assaults the Skull Master. Um, pretty gruesome compared to some of the other ones, but don't you just love it? <laughs> I mean, this thing is pretty insane. Um, I'm not sure if this thing is complete. I know it's missing the projectile that goes in here, but apart from that, I, I honestly don't see it too often, and I knew I just needed to have it, so. Super glad I got to add this one to the collection. And I, I know I was gonna try and planning popping it in the shell, but I just don't have room. I'm gonna have to see how that works out. So I ended up meeting Bobby over there, who is one of the owners, I guess, and uh, he was a very cool dude. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I got some, some Galaxy Warriors even. Yeah. Well, so the Eggman, I don't sell the ones that I have only one of, but uh, yeah. you can buy a tour if you Very nice to chat with. And he apparently was like, hey, do you need some Dino Riders? I'm like, what is happening over here? How, how does he know I'm into Dino Riders? They had a ton of Dino Riders there, even a T-Rex. I was actually thinking about picking it up. It had a pretty okay price on there. I think what it ended up coming down to was maybe 150 or 60 euros for uh, a complete T-Rex, which isn't that bad. Um, prices are going crazy for those right now. But uh, then it finally hit me, I was wearing a Dino Rider shirt, so that's why he was like, hey, you need to check out all my Dino Rider stuff. Um, pretty cool because he had a ton of things, unfortunately. Um, nothing I, I was gonna go ahead and, and get to have they. But there were a couple more things on the shelves over there. One thing uh, I, I, I didn't think I was gonna be able to find was this street shark I don't have now, knowing it's not an actual shark, but this is one of the variations they put out on Dr. Paranoid. I hope I'm saying it right, because I always mess up Paranoid and Dr. Paradigm or whatever. But this is the Power Bite Paranoid. So, pretty happy about adding yet another character I don't have yet. And uh, yeah, he looks cool. Uh, was hoping to find some more sharks I didn't have, but it's always fun to add these extra characters or, I mean, the main bad guy. Why not? Looks cool. Looks in decent condition. It has like this water gun function over here. The power bite thing works. All of these uh, attachments are still there. So that's pretty nice. And you just have to look in this store. Definitely like if you're in Copenhagen, if you're in Denmark, definitely try and check out both these stores. You'll walk in and you won't know where to look first, but you really have to look everywhere. Like surrounding all of the 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 the, the parts where they do the hairdressing, there's toys everywhere and almost everything is for sale. So I ended up finding another uh, Galaxy Warrior over there. Um, and over here you have the, the whole address and the thing where you can find these guys. Um, this one I didn't have, some sort of a bull type of deal. And it's actually like a muscle warrior, so because the legs don't have articulation. But that's cool, yeah, I mean, didn't have this one. Uh, we'll pop it in the shelf. Dude, this is, <laughs> this is epic. <laughs> and Bobby also has his own custom made Bobby character on card there. Um, he, he pointed out that there's actually in our store I really need to go and take a look at. They have more turtles there is what he said. So, you know, I'm gonna have to do it. But right as I was walking out over there next to like a scare glow and everything, I see out the corner of my eye this thing right here. Is this one broken or? Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, because yeah. the tank fell out. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's but it's for sale? Oh. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Right. Are, are you sure? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll, I'll take that one. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. A Galaxy Fighters um, vehicle. This is the Demon Fighter. And it's, it's kind of broken, but I hardly ever see it. It's supposed to have like a RAM thing over here. It's supposed to have another one of these things. But. I, 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 I'm not gonna find another one of these, so I was like, hey, I'm actually gonna take this home. One thing I think is really cool about this part in the Galaxy Warriors thing is that it does actually incorporate, you know, like the Savage part 
and the futuristic sci-fi elements like having a laser cannon on top of this because most of the figures they they wouldn't really come with like laser guns or anything they would always have swords and uh, uh, battle axes and stuff like that this is the first time we're actually seeing oh there's actually some sci-fi elements involved just the same way that uh, Master of the Universe had that slight touch of it over there so yeah Definitely broken, but um, I was like, I'm gonna take a chance on this. This was around 25 euros or something, and uh, I, I think like if, if we were to look up what it actually goes for, it goes for a lot more. So thanks, Bobby, for letting go of this cool, awesome piece, man. And of course, it's the next day. We played a show. It was fun, and uh, we still had some time open over in Copenhagen to visit the second store. <music> This one was actually even bigger. It had a whole room with mainly turtles, there was video games, and I even ended up picking up another great piece for my Mighty Max collection. Okay. <laughs> it's awesome. Yes, yes. Mighty Max defies the dread star so yeah uh, another piece i was definitely looking for i wish i'd actually checked out more of the mighty max pieces in the first store because there were definitely some more i i was in need of um i think this dude is actually complete so that's pretty epic also don't have room to pop this one in the shelf i'm really gonna have to do some redecorating over on that one but this thing once again i oh, love it these bigger play sets they have so much playability it's not something i would probably bring along on a car ride because it would lose all the little guys that it comes with and it does come with a massive amount of them as well but this is just like bluebird toys being inventive being insanely creative with what they can do with these mini play sets insane so definitely love picking up this one the dread star and then there was obviously a lot more to see in the second store although um a lot of the figures there i i, I didn't I, I didn't really need um I, I guess in the first store i should have picked up some of those biker mines that i never see um but when i was about to leave i i turned and i saw something at the corner of my eye and i had to just pick it up This is actually a extreme dinosaur. And I was like, okay, it's in a baggie, it's it's fine, but this is actually a KFC, like a Happy Meal toy. So we got a little um so we got a little bullseye in here, which just looks freaking amazing. It comes with like a little standy and everything. I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll take him out the baggie, but this is actually the baggie it came in, I think. So Still in the original Happy Meal bag. I'm sorry I'm saying Happy Meal, although it's KFC. But, damn, this is freaking cool. So, 
got to add a little bullseye. I know there's four of these that you can collect for, and uh, I'll definitely be on the lookout for more of these. Now, whilst I was in Denmark, I ended up visiting a couple more stores, but they usually had some of the more modern stuff in the shelves. But if you're looking for a great mullet haircut or for vintage toys at fair prices, definitely check out one of these two stores from Ruben Og Bobby. So yeah, next month we'll be hitting up Germany with Rotsack. We'll be doing a couple shows over there. So if you're into hardcore music, you want to come and check us out on one of these dates and if you know of any cool vintage toy shops that are near definitely let me know in the comments down below or reach out to me on my socials um that's gonna be it for this episode i want to thank you so much for watching uh hope whenever you go over to denmark you'll have an awesome time as well and yeah um just you know leave a comment we can talk leave a like if you want to do more you can always support the channel by joining a patreon or buying a t-shirt and that's gonna be it for now guys see you later bye and i just came back from a toy store that was located in a hairdresser salon so crazy right <laughs> and then i get over here in the venue and the backstage is just filled with like consoles so Got N64 stuff, GameCube stuff. Oh man, this is so freaking chill. <laughs> I was like, I walked in here and was like, what is happening? So we got some video games over here. Awesome arcade machine and just consoles hooked up. There's a bar. This has got to be a pretty cool venue. I mean, if they have this on top of it. What do you think of my purchase? Oh, are you gonna God. use it? On stage tonight, I as like your to. black metal thing. So, oh, I would love to use it <laughs> and come on, like, <laughs> does it give light? Uh, I don't know, I actually don't know, but it should. <laughs> I need it. Do you know what this is? Mighty Max, have you ever heard of it? I've heard of it, but I'm not an expert. Yeah, so. neither am I, nobody is, but oh. except for Maddie, he knows what this is all about. I think it's the, the dungeon master. His Doom Zone or his like extensive big Doom Zone. <laughs> totally in love with this piece, had to get it. And uh, it had 400 kronen on it, which is roughly 45 euros. So maybe about 50 bucks. Had to get it. And uh, in the toy room, I'll show you if it's complete or not. But uh, yeah, I was really hoping to get this.